It's time for Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. A look at the weirdest stories from our weirdest state. Let me uh, put my credibility glasses on and we shall begin. A Florida man has been arrested. That in itself shocking is not at <laughs> all moving the meter. But how he was discovered Ooh. is uh, what this story is all about. A man's five minutes of fame at a Florida golf course where he hit a hole in one. That's right. Wow. What? Hold, your, hold your applause because it's attracting police attention. Uh-oh. He had his picture taken because of the hole in one. And it helped officers arrest and charge him in connection with a deadly oh, assault. Man. Nice, nice. That's right. The Sumter County Sheriff's arrested Robert Moore, 75 years old, of the villages there in Florida. That's that fun place where a lot of Come stuff goes down, sideways. Roger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason uh, that this place is fun. They charged him with aggra- aggravated manslaughter on an elderly person in connection with the incident that took place at the Glenview Country Club. Um, you know where that Dean- is. Dean Zook, you know, (laughs) Dean Zook, 87. Imagine 87. He doesn't look 87. No, no, no. That's not him. The Dean Zook is the guy he killed. Oh, Uh, no. This guy um, is uh, 75. Dean Zook, a full 12 years older, supposedly was heading to the club that day with his wife for dinner when his car bumped into another car parked in the lot. A man came out, asked what Dean Zook, the 87-year-old, did to his car. Zook took responsibility and asked for insurance information. The other man didn't wait for the insurance information, Uh-oh. punched Zook several mm-hmm. times. Wow. Uh, the 87-year-old put his hands up to protect himself, but was unable to protect himself from the continuing punches. And as I say... Um, it uh, the whole thing ended uh, sadly uh, with the man Lu- Zuck losing his life. Eighty-seven year old. I will tell not, you, not Zuck, no relation. No, no not no, relation. Not no relation to Zuck. I will tell you one disturbing. Like this story isn't even disturbing enough. Disturbing coda to this story is ding. that coda is a ding word. You're right. The um, the dude who's 75, this Robert Moore, the guy who hit the hole-in-one, who they then put together with this whole incident yeah. with this other guy, that guy, right. They later discovered, and he realized, that the car was not hit by the guy that he killed. Oops. Oh. And the guy had took, taken responsibility just to, I guess, because he didn't want an issue, but ended up, uh, again, uh, killing a man. My bad. But his hole, his hole in one, is. Um, is My bad. How dare I'm you? Sorry. How dare you? Mm-mm. Anyway, hole in, t- hole in yeah. two. A Florida man. How dare you? Allegedly <laughs> fled, eluding arrest at a church because a cult told him to. Of well, course. You mean yeah, the church? I, oh. Yeah. There he is. Uh, This is a word from the Lord, and he's not happy. He is now behind bars. He was allegedly spotted by deputies driving in circles in a church parking lot, subsequently fleeing and eluding arrest, claiming that a cult told him to. Yeah, he looks susceptible to that kind of thinking, I think. John Sousa was arrested. (laughs) I don't know about judging people based on their appearance like that, Kim, but I'll leave that to you. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. John Sousa's his name, arrested. Mm -hmm on charges of fleeing and eluding a law enforcement officer. Active lights and sirens, they were chasing him. And eventually they got Sousa. And after a chase, they found him at a car wash down the road. At the car wash. Yeah. What was the name of the cult? Was it the Episcopals? Uh, <laughs> was it Catholics versus Episcopals? He's 41 years old. Uh, he was read his Miranda rights there at the car wash. And now he is in... Yeah. Uh, police custody. So that's Good day, sir. that's that. Yeah. A Florida woman's doorbell camera captures the moment that an alligator approaches her front porch. Oh, do we have video? This is awesome. I believe we do. Sweet. You'll note if you'll watch your YouTube monitor. Or is this your... like the waving bear? 
<laughs> yeah. This is uh, sort of. The alligator's not really doing anything except lurking out there. It's like uh, Amazon. Dong. Amazon yeah. delivery. Yeah. And the gram. <laughs> <laughs> I got your DoorDash. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't see a place to put it. Uh, are you home? I initially got the ring doorbell, she says, for dog poop bandits in my yard. I guess those are, you know, those that leave dog poop in the yard and they never... Not the ones up. who, not the ones who steal it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's an odd. Uh, I would suggest <laughs> rebranding what they're called. Um, but she says I get a lot of motion alerts from cars and people walking by, and then right. uh, I heard my dog barking while I was sleeping at four thirty in the morning. <laughs> when I woke up, I checked my ring camera, and there is the visitor, a gator. So uh, it's very strong, very strong. Yeah. By the way, and an excellent resolution on the ring camera. I might add. Good yeah. lighting. I love it. Mm. Do you have a moment Street. of time to discuss our Lord and Savior? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have some literature that I'd like you yeah. to see. Right. <laughs> Not joining your cult. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jehovah's uh, Witness, John. Yeah, that's right. Meanwhile, on the other side of Florida, a Florida man is in, uh, uh, in custody, led uh, cops on a 100-mile-an-hour chase, but... The thing that perhaps is most fun about this uh, is that he was driving, I believe, one of those Google Maps cars that, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah we, you uh, see we it talked, there? We talked about this, uh, this is yesterday on the after party. Oh, did, well, we you can this, tell yeah. me this story then. Oh. Um, it was a police pursuit of a guy who claimed to work for this, you know, the mapping tech part of Google and led Middletown police officers in a high-speed chase all while a 360 degree camera <laughs> was mounted on the roof of the car I want to see that video yeah well here's the end of the video you see it there but it was yeah. shot from another um, I was telling Kim this is location. more like a what Apple Maps would do to you right tell you, you to drive <laughs> off of here this is way beneath Google yeah. Yeah, yeah come on Google we have standards uh, the officer gave chase originally after catching up to the guy in the 8500 block of West US 36. You know where that is, John. Exactly. Distribution center for full. The officer chased him into Madison County. The driver slowed down before running a red light. And then they turned the Google car south, the uh, driver did. And finally drove through a yard and crashed it into a creek and got stuck there. So fine way to stick the landing. That's the most important thing. Congratulations. Uh, a Florida man in Okaloosa County claims to have an explosive device when family members try to evict him. <laughs> yeah, he was arrested after he claimed to have an explosive device. Family members want to get him literally out of their home, evict him. There he is. There's a picture of him. in. Uh, Do you think he had it like ready to go? He's like, I don't know what this is for, but I'm going to need this. I got, he made statements indicating that he had an explosive device, told members to get the bomb squad. He's Lance Hines, 21 years old, everybody, a young man who's got a long career ahead of him of threatening family members. Come on down. Yeah, deputies I mean, were... <laughs> you can see why they wanted him out, it, you know. Yeah, he's um, uh, he's not dressed for success, uh, uh, but uh, you know I think he cleans up probably very nicely. But this is a, a clear misstep. So um, I would just say, you know, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, he was <laughs> he charged some, with making uh, a Mark March, maybe a beanie. Yeah, if he was wearing a uh, Mark Thompson Show T-shirt, he'd be in better shape or a hat. Yeah, a Florida man has sued Disney now for fifty thousand dollars. He's saying that he fell off the Disney World Resort ride. Uh-oh. And it caused him severe and permanent injuries. How do you fall off the Haunted Mansion ride? That's well, ridiculous. I mean, it doesn't even go that fast. You're in a little buggy rolling right along. How do you fall? What are you doing that you fall out of the buggy? Is the man's well, name Ron uh, DeSantis? I... <laughs> <laughs> hmm? I'll tell you, uh, Kim... Ow, Although wait, maybe wait. they'll want to, maybe they'll want to subpoena you as an expert witness. Right. But here's what Billy Williams of Orange County said: that he was trying to board the Haunted Mansion ride with his wife when a Disney employee hit the emergency stop button. Oh. The incident caused the ride to jolt without oh, warning. Oh no! Oh no! 
and Williams fell off the ride and onto the ground. He wants $50,000 in damages from Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, saying that the theme park was, quote, negligent for failing to maintain the premises in a reasonable, safe condition. Stop it. Yes. We will update this story. Kim, so not tripped accepting. tripped on the moving carpet is what you've tripped on? He, the only thing. No, they, he's, they the, pushed the stop button, I guess. Yeah, whatever. so he was but trying to get in the show, ride. Right? The little Yeah, clam exactly. They, 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 they call move. it. The little it's not a clamshell. It's yeah, the haunted yeah. mansion. Does no, no one know what it's mover. called? Get it right. No, no I'm saying you're sitting in like a you're sitting in one of those clamshell like people yeah. movers. No, I know you. Yeah. I know you're right about that. But everyone in the in the in the chat, you know what it's called. You know what the haunted mansion clamshell is called. Yes. It's called a doom buggy. Everyone. Yeah, doom buggy. Right. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. I'm exactly. I'm just saying. Uh, let's let's know our Disney terminology, please. Uh, finally, or did almost ran, finally, did, did he break a leg or something? I want to know, like what, what's the injury or do you just see Disney with deep pockets? I think he probably had one of those like chicken, yeah. he had a chicken leg in one hand and like a, a vat of popcorn. Yeah. Lee has doom buggy. So does Lulu. Yeah. Of course, doom buggy, yeah. doom, doom buggy. Everybody had it except yeah. everybody on the show. How dare you? <laughs> um, well, this is a TikTok sewing class. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds exciting. And she's teaching this TikTok sewing class, this woman. It's a fun Friday night. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's a, there's never been anything like this. Jan <laughs> Westner is a sewing blogger who was recording. She was recording an instructional video on TikTok. And I don't mean to laugh. It's just so bizarre. Um here she is. Do we actually have the video? Here she is. You'll see a... Uh... So she's showing everybody this is, you know, this is the pattern. And oh, boom. God. Yeah. It's a car crashing into the wall of her home. You see it there on the wow. left of the... Yeah. I mean, she should have made a run for it, not just stand there with your, well, your she did, hand over your she mouth. She was in shock. Well, she I ran a bit. She was in shock, I think. Boy, she's Kim's lucky, very tough. Point up there. She's lucky. <laughs> like, you see something barreling toward your house, you got to move. If yeah. that car was a little to the left. Yeah, yeah a video shows, a again, if you're for those who are listening on the podcast, it, things are falling off the wall of her home. You see her in the foreground, and she does run. Oh. But we see from an exterior shot that there is a car that jumped the curb over her front yard and slammed into her house. It's brutal. Yeah. So this is a car that ran a stop sign, hit a drainage ditch, sent it airborne, landed about four feet from the house, and then cascaded into the house. Oh, and to man. be fair, when you hear a noise and you're looking the other way, your first thought isn't like, oh, a car is flying into my house. Yeah, it was where a... she does <laughs> at that intersection where there's a stop sign and your house is at the end of the street, you better that better be your first thought. About yeah, a month oh, ago, I see. You a, think um, it's a uh, you think it's a dangerous location. All right. Well, yeah, About a month ago, a, a, um, a truck got in an in, uh, an accident on the corner here and slammed in the corner of an apartment building. Uh, front of the truck just gone, horn blaring, and emergency response from the fire department. I've never I've never seen a response like that. Like six different, you know, uh, never seen anything like vehicles. this. Never. Yeah, never There's seen never been anything <laughs> like this. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> um, I'm glad to see the stained glass survive, though it doesn't look like that broke, which is nice. Yeah, I like that definitely. you have your priorities. <laughs> yeah, we were all yeah. worried about the stained glass. You're absolutely right. I was very right. concerned. It's funny when I first saw this story, I thought, "Wow, the stained wow. glass thing, man! I'm glad uh, it, yeah, survived. it survived." Yeah, it survived. All right, uh, my friends, that's your basket of Florida stories for today, curated by the lovely Albert. But I Albert, tell you. you that we must, hard as it is, this like is choosing part. a favorite between children. We oh. must choose a favorite story here. And so you at home or wherever you are, you listening or watching, you have your favorite. Please enter it into the chat. And if you're watching in replay, please enter your favorite. It's always something we look at. We like to see what people have sparked to. And I'll remind you of your choices. The guy who is a suspect in the death of that Florida dude from the parking lot who wouldn't have been discovered 
but for the fact that he'd hit a hole in one mm, yep. and there was such a big deal made of that and his photo got out there it's pretty yeah. strong the florida man who eluded arrest at a church because the cult told him to deputies ultimately arrested him at a car wash florida woman who captured on her doorbell camera the alligator approaching her front porch the florida man who takes the cops on a wild 100 mile an hour chase in a google street view car <laughs> The Florida man who claims to have the explosive device when family members try to evict him from the house. Turns out it was not actually an explosive device, but the bomb squad did have to be called. And the Florida man suing Disney after he supposedly fell off the haunted mansion ride. He wants $50,000. And lastly, the Florida woman, the TikTok sewing instructor who captures a car crash into her house on camera. Tough to pick a favorite, but let's start with John Daly. For me, I think it comes down to the hole in one and the alligator. I think I'm going to, well, also the Colt, the rival Colts. That's good as well, right? <laughs> Ooh, a lot of contenders tough. this time. It's very know. difficult. It's I'm very, go very go difficult. Can I, you let him finish? Sorry. I'll let him finish. I'm just saying it's difficult. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the door to door salesman alligator. Yeah. Door to door salesman alligator. Fine choice yeah. from John Daly. Uh, gator at the door says Lynn. A lot of people said Gator at the door. Kim, what's your favorite? Yeah, I'm going with Nancy. Uh, ding dong alligator. That's right. Ding dong alligator. All right. It should be a gator shirt. at the gator door. At the door. Yeah. Mm. Sell in Florida. Uh, Tony, what's your favorite? Thanks, Tony. Oh, it's got to be the TikTok thing, and I'll show you why. It's the delay of the little green sign falling. There. All right, at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't. Only Tony would notice that. That's brilliant. Just, I love it. Show it again. So everything crashes the yeah. the stained glass, but then look. <laughs> now, that that is in really Hollywood. Yeah. In Hollywood, they have to spend a lot of money to do that. Right? Oh right. Yeah. In Hollywood, That's they would say job. no, no, no. Put it in on Hollywood, a timer. Yeah. Too and then you'd have a Foley artist and like the sound of something falling. Oh, that's true. Maybe. There's at least a crew of five to get that to happen, right? <laughs> right. I'd say they'd they'd reshoot it. They'd go, no, 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 guys. No, no, it's no. all going to fall at fake. the same time. Right. You know that what I mean? That actually, fake. yeah, that would is be there, a bad take for them. Is there sound? Can we hear the sound yes. of the car crashing and the things falling? Wah, wah, wah. Hold on. Like what that? I want to hear what that. The how loud it was for her. No. Yeah, I can't hear the sound. Is this what uh, uh, Kim does on your show too, John? She just takes control and then drives a oh, segment completely to a halt with totally something that we can't sound. actually do. I'm yeah. going to plead the fifth. I, uh, I'm i just saying. Do you know who I am? I, yeah. I'm kind of a big deal. I figured when he didn't play the sound that it might have been harder for him to get it. That's You're all, all on I'm my saying. Bad list right now. Why are you Although, yelling? All right. I hesitate uh, to point out that we haven't had as many technical difficulties as this show. Oh, there's no, and, there's no, there's absolutely no way you could have. And as you many have like a staff of four people. How is this? How is this I know. possible? You think maybe that's the problem? They, they do this to you uh, all the time. I like. Uh, I I I agree. I think the TikTok seamstress. I have got to give it to her. She is my favorite. Yeah. Everybody, thank you for. Um, <laughs> Come on, that was all staged. The falling sign was right. too perfect. Sarcasm from Mary. It's Eric. for clicks. Uh, that is, she does have reflexes <laughs> like a ninja, says Buck. <laughs> She's, she was cool. I thought she was pretty cool. Chit, chit, chit. All right. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's wrap it up. Nice job, though, because uh, I thought there was a lot there. Chit, chit, chit. I want to thank Albert for curating it. Albert, thank and, you. And um, John Daly for uh, joining and that is Friday Fabulous Florida for today. This has been Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. Y'all come back now, here. Yeah? Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell. You'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped. And please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.